Hey guys, uh, to another episode of Facebook Live uh, regarding the 2020 Alaska Airmen's Association raffle plane. As always, if anybody has any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll try to answer them, hopefully live, but if not, later on we'll answer them. Um, we're doing another package unveil, Christmas time. We'd like to cheat and open our presents before Christmas. Um, Back over here, we have a giant, fairly heavy box. Hopefully it's uh, just packaging, but there's some cool things in here. Of course, I haven't opened it yet, so let's see what we got. This is fresh in from Dynon. Dynon is an avionics manufacturer that produces glass displays. Wow. You got to come over here and take a look at what's in this box. This might be a bit of a long video, but I think it'll be well worth it. So Dynon has graciously sponsored all of this bling and this is all going in the instrument panel. Um, all of this is going in the instrument panel? Well, and supporting the instrument panel. I'm sure there's a lot of computer devices that get mounted back behind the panel. How much do you think all of this weighs? Uh, I don't know. I have to weigh it. I mean, as it sits in here, I'd say lifting the box, probably somewhere around 20 pounds. But this is going to cover all of the instrumentation in the airplane. So no more round gauges. Everything's going to be glass display. Oh, I want to, okay, I'll see, I want to see something. <laughs> see something? Yeah. Let's see what's in this box. And this is where my work really starts getting cut out for me because we're essentially removing the old instrument panel and starting with a two foot by four foot chunk of aluminum. So I've got to take each one of these pieces and make sure it's going to fit, it's going to clear all the stuff in the back. Eye cloth. You're probably going to try to steal these for your devices, aren't you, Sarah? Oh, yeah. You don't need those. Uh, this looks like, and I have not worked with Dynon, so, I mean, except for this year, but I have not installed any of their stuff, so it should be interesting. This is, I don't want to lose or misplace any of this stuff. Ooh, it smells good. So I believe this is the backup unit. So historically, in order to be certified, you have to have backup steam gauges, i.e. the old style round airspeed indicator and altimeter if you're going to have a glass display. But Dynon has gotten FAA PMA approval for using this as a backup. So it's still a glass display and it gives you your basic information. Um, Dustin is asking if we're getting rid of the old vacuum system. Yep. There will not be a vacuum system in this, Dustin. Um, that's just obviously extra weight and there's no need for it because all of this stuff is not run off a of vacuum. So I'm going to find one of the cool, big, exciting displays. Two of these, this is the bigger one, this is the, um, the 10 inch display. And the cool part is, look how thick that is. It doesn't really protrude back. You know, most of your big instruments, they stick way back. Cooling fins, but yeah, that's awesome. And now there's another one of these that's a seven inch. So this is a 10 inch and a seven inch. All the buttons. Uh, their selectors, so when the screen's up, it'll give you indications of what's there, which uh, is a good segue over to, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So as we put all this together, we'll probably do a time lapse, opening all this stuff up so that we're not making it real tedious for you guys to watch this in real time. 
think everybody wants to see what's in the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want, I can keep opening boxes. Yes, keep opening boxes. Um, but let me just show you what these screens actually look like when they light up. So you, you can change what you have on here with just the, the pilot can select different features. But in this setup, you've got like a synthetic vision where you can actually see the terrain out there and it'll light up based on its elevation from you. So if you're gonna hit it, if you were to turn towards a mountain top or something, it'll be red. And then um, you've got airspeed ticker over here. You got altitude over here, um, VSI, vertical speed indications. You've got a heading indicator with your heading displayed up top. Um, and that's actual size? This is actual size, yeah. So it fills, I and mean, this is a regular size magazine style. This is their catalog. So, um, and then you can change this to have your round gauges if you prefer that. You can change all that. And then you've got, of course, it's all tied in with GPS, so you can program in a, a waypoint and go to. It'll give you the course. It'll also give you a course indication needle here. Um, your altitude is displayed prominently up here. And then it also has COM and transponder all in it. So squawking 1200 for VFR in this picture. You got your times, your frequencies, um, and then you've got all kinds of stuff that you would typically see on a, on a GPS layout. Now, the one thing is not gonna be in here is this stuff because we could have done that, but JPI is sponsoring an EDM 600 engine analyzer. So that will be a separate screen that is just for engines. So this will be even bigger for flight data. Um, so this would be the 10 inch screen, and then this would be your seven inch screen, which you can select different features if you don't want a redundant display. And I think I saw some of those options. So here's another scenario. Um, the other thing, this will have full ADSB in and out, so you will see all of your traffic that's out there as well. And I thought I saw... So this is kind of a typical instrument panel. So you can see there's no round gauges, nice, real clean, crisp setup. Get that glare out of there. And then there's all the hardware and everything else that goes along with it the six pack layout if you wanted to go with the standard instrument type of a layout. So super user friendly and it's all plug and play. And then if the winner wants, they can purchase um, an upgrade module from Dynon that makes the entire panel IFR capable, which is really cool. All it takes is plug that box in and then boom, everything's IFR. So where would you plug the box in at? Do you have to cut a hole in the panel? Uh, no, I believe that's a, an external or you know hidden mountain avionics compartment. So has anybody said they want to keep going and open up boxes, see what's in all this stuff? Or is that? I did. I you did? Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. I want to see what's in the box. Okay, let's keep going. An antenna. It's a GPS antenna. That'll go up on top of the fuselage so it's exposed to the sky. Some of the stuff I might not know because, like I said, I haven't installed their stuff. So There is some sort of a module. Looks like a pitot static goes into here and it converts it to digital reading. So this would be something that would be mounted back behind the panel. And we'll probably have to fabricate like an avionics uh, tray to be able to mount all this stuff to. Another gizmo. Connector kit. Yep. So we're going to be doing all oh, kinds of fun wiring. Is that the ADSB? Yep. So this would receive information from Dynon and then there's an antenna port that would go out to to your ADSB uh, antenna. Battery. So that's part of how this all gets certified is uh, the 
battery backup. So if you lose ship power, i.e. your battery dies or your alternator and your battery die, they'll um, apparently run for another hour. So it gives you an hour of useful data to be able to find a place to land. So is this all one kit or like you can go online and order a kit or did Dion put this together specifically for the raffle plane? Uh, the latter. They, they put it together for the raffle plane based on the real estate that we had available in the panel and what they wanted to showcase with their product. So we essentially tried to get as much of their stuff in here as possible so that they could, um, yeah, show everybody what they got. Uh, this looks like a it says mag, so I'm assuming it's probably a mag pickup. And before any of this stuff even gets removed from its packaging, um, there's going to be paperwork, I hope, in here that talks about how all this goes together. So there's a lot of studying that goes on before any of this stuff gets mounted anywhere, and then everything will get fit, panel will get cut, and we'll make sure everything's got a place to go so it's all clean, tidy, and tied together in the proper way. So about how much time is that going to take? Um, the studying's about a day, maybe a little less than a day. We'll see how far, how well it goes. But it's essentially finding each component that's in the instructions and um, making sure we got all the right wire, um, circuit breaker, or circuit protection devices, switches, getting everything laid out because the last thing we want to do is cut a hole in the panel and then go, uh oh, we forgot this or we need this also, but now we've cut it in the wrong spot. So um, it's probably actually more than a day all told before anything actually starts getting cut or installed. Um, but we'll keep you guys apprised throughout that whole process. We've got tons of wiring harnesses. Fun. It's like adult Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Your own erector set. And of course, wires being color coded. That's going to help tell us where each one goes. Oh, nice! It's awesome. My favorite color too. <laughs> uh, more harnesses, connector kits. It's a fairly big undertaking. Yeah. Like all that other stuff in here? Yeah. And this, I'm not sure, possibly the actual display mount. I don't know. Maybe if Dynon's watching, they can chime in. Yeah, I'm guessing these are the display mounts. So, we have the 10 inch screen going in. Mm -hmm. Is that the only screen going in? Nope, there's a 7 inch also. <laughs> so, we got the 10 inch and 7 inch. Yep. So, there's a switch control panel. This is a lot of cool stuff. Battery. You're running out of room. I know. Another battery. So each display gets its own battery. Yep. And then do they share the backup battery? And each of those batteries are its backup battery. Each unit has its own backup battery, and in case the, the ship power goes down. Paperwork. Ooh, that's shiny. So this would be a, a calm um, plug in to the main screen so you can adjust your frequencies and it looks like maybe if you have your waypoint programmed and you're going to it you can just hit tower and it'll pop in your tower frequency for that waypoint or ATIS or ground. Okay. 
And there's this module that goes with that. I like that. TY91. It's a, it's a trig, but they must have an agreement with Dynon. And paperwork. Certification. And this is a transponder, assuming. Probably. So all this stuff is certified, so you don't need an STC or anything special to put it in your airplane? Uh, that I've got to do some research on. So a lot of this stuff, we have to crimp all the pins and um, get all our wires together. So this is probably a transponder uh, module. Can you take it out? Okay. And they have these cool removable trays so you can flip this and then the unit Ooh. comes out so you mount your tray and if you ever needed to replace this or troubleshoot it or remove it, it just plugs in. It looks heavy. Is it heavy? No, it's not heavy at all. It's very light. It's, very light. it's not even a quarter of a pound. So, um, I, one of my first things is to contact Dynon and figure out how this stuff all goes together because I don't see an installation manual or wiring schematic um, that may be available on their website, but I'm going to communicate very closely with them in order to make sure this all goes together the proper way. So, Bill just brought up a good point. He says, you'll have to train me on all these toys uh -huh. to win it. Well, I'm going to have to train myself and then I'll pass the information on to you, Bill. <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, I think it's going to be very user-friendly once it's all installed. Um, you know, if you can run an iPhone, you can probably run this. It's, they, they've got this stuff pretty dialed in nowadays. But I think the coolest part about all this is that we're going to have a 1955 Cessna 180 with an all-glass panel, which I don't know if that's been done before or not, but it's going to be. And it's, you know, the raffle plane is... It's all about showcasing the latest and greatest in innovations in the aviation industry for GA aircraft. And, you know, almost all of this stuff can go into your airplane. And, of course, we only build certified. So if it's certified, it can go in whatever airplane it's certified for. So um, I think that's really cool. And some of the other mods that are going on this, you'll see in the coming weeks, um, they're the latest and greatest, the best that you can get nowadays. So. I think it's pretty cool and then of course you get to actually see it at the show and we'll have a battery charger hooked up to it so we can light the panel up and show everybody how that all works um, yeah so so gordon asked he said i just tuned in and you may have said is a nav database that's downloaded like when what's used with garmin i would certainly think so i don't know for sure like um, i mentioned earlier is as i have never installed any of dynon's products so this will be a huge learning curve for me um, I've, i feel competent and comfortable doing it but um, i've got to learn to be and uh, to make sure i do it right um, but i would certainly imagine there's there's updates you know as airport information changes and you know all that stuff just like like garmin or um, four flight has so I'm sure there's something in there for that so you mentioned that we haven't installed Dynon before um, why Dynon for the raffle plane um, the the main thing that sold me on it is there's no round gauges um, I like the the idea the other thing is going back to the new and innovative items um, Dynon just recently got certified, so without any backup round gauges. So I think that's a cool thing to showcase to the public. So anyway, um, feel free to keep uh, asking questions in the comments. We'll answer you in the comments and stay tuned. Everybody have a happy holiday season and um, probably talk to you again after the holidays. Till then.